who is here because she says she's being harassed by Tiffany, who is 17, and this is Tiffany's mom, Robin. And Robin, you said in your interview that you are a good influence on your daughter. I am. And, and can you tell but us how? Because we don't quite that, see it. When it comes to that, my daughter is a very good child. I mean, she does everything. Uh -huh. She listens. She comes in on time. She, I mean, she's just a perfect child. But if somebody's going to She's the sit, perfect child? Yes, she is. Okay. If somebody's going to sit and harass her, yes, I do believe that any person in their right mind has a right to defend themselves. And if Nicole wants to be 15 years old, so what? She's the size of a 17-year-old. So what? Tim Why is her size your business at all? Whatever. That's what the show's about, isn't it? The show is about this about teenagers being harassed by other teens. And it's so? your daughter who's doing the harassing. She admitted that. So? She physically Nicole, assaulted you. Do you this not girl. harass Tiffany? I don't. I don't you say little liar. To you. you do harass her and you know you do. Why do you want to be her friend if she's so mean to you? I just don't want to be enemies. Right. You want to be her let friend. Me just... You want to hang around with her friends because she has all the friends and you have zip. You don't deny that you're harassing her because she's heavy. You don't deny that. What names have you ever called her? A fat bitch, a whore, a slut. Mm. Okay. And Robin, you think that's okay? Whatever she does is her business. Okay. Oh, now it's her business. Do you think she may be learning that behavior from you? No. Imagine that. No. <laughs> I mean, if I drive by in a car and see some fat person sitting there eating two cheeseburgers and a shake, you better believe I do giggle at them. You do? Yeah, I do. I'm the mother of a teenager, and Robin, you are not a woman or a good mother. Whatever. You came out, you attacked this child. That's what Whatever. she is. She's a child. Whatever. You attacked this child. Whatever. And you sit here and talk about how good your daughter is. Your daughter can't be all of that. Children Whatever. do things away from their parents Whatever. all the time. Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. And there's I nothing defend you can do my about daughter, it. yes, but I will not come out and attack another child because I am a woman. I am an adult. Well, good for you. Tiffany, you didn't tell us anything about being harassed by Nicole. Is she harassing you? She calls me a lot of names. Is it after you call her names? What, what kind of, what's she calling you? A whore, a slut. <laughs> so, Nicole, Excuse me? have you done that? And, and if, you, if you have, have you done that? Have you call called her, her name? a slut again, I'm going to get up off this chair and slap you. What are you who are you talking to? <laughs> These people call my daughter huh? a slut and they better shut up. You're talking to this guy? No, this girl to right her? here. They're saying slut, huh? slut down there. You Robin, better shut up. Robin, Robin. <laughs> what? Hey, hang on, hang on. I didn't say anything. I didn't say nothing to her. Robin, you're teaching your daughter violence. Well, you know what, Jenny? Whatever you want to say. I do say. my own thing. My mom don't yeah. have to teach me I'm nothing. not going to sit and let my... Nobody sit. If you're going to let somebody sit and run your daughter down, then more power to you. That's but what I'm you're doing. Do you're it. running this girl down. Whatever. Whatever. She runs my daughter Who down. Who are you talking to? This one right here. What did you say? I say nothing. I say if she is. A, yeah. Okay. Well, you that's did. what she. You know that's what she act like. I mean, look at the way y'all acting. Look at the, look at your How mother. Look at the way your mother acting. She blinking her eyes and rolling her eyes. I mean, she's so getting that, that from you. Slut? She's getting that from you. That's like me a mother, slut? like daughter, honey, yeah. and that's the way it is. Yeah. This is not exactly going the way I thought it was. The show was about helping a girl who's being harassed by another girl. You, Robin, look like the one that needs the most help up here. Yeah. You, you, are, you know, you're old you enough know, to know. I never came on your show if I would have known it was going to be like this. There's nothing we can do for you. If you want to leave, we'd be happy to see you go. I'm really disgusted with this show. You could totally tell who's got class and who doesn't. And wait, wait, one minute. And I know they're offering uh, one person to help both of you. I think you need two per person. Yeah. Good for you. Well, 
Let's take a break. We'll take a break and come back with a woman who says her teen daughter got so sick of the harassment and name calling, she started taking diet pills and wound up in the hospital. How, how can you do that to somebody? You don't know what it feels like. You don't. It's hard. I wish you could because it hurts. With a foundation, there are three things you need. Moisture, moisture, and more moisture. Now, Max Factor. And so that's rotten. God. Yeah. Let's move on to our next guest. This is Joan and her daughter, Candace. Now, 16-year-old Candace used to be a straight-A student, but she can no longer focus on her studies. In fact, she's harassed so badly at school, she goes home and cries. You were crying, like, before you even started. Why are you crying now? I can't believe somebody could be like that. How, yeah. how can you do that to somebody? You don't know what it feels like. You don't. No, I don't. It's hard. I wish you could, because it hurts. Candace, you're 16 years old, yes. and uh, this is your mom. Let's talk to Joan for a second. You, this has been a big problem. You actually did look for counseling for your daughter. No, we've been to counseling. You went to a psychiatrist. We have gone, her and I. She went separate, and then I would go in, yeah. and we've been through counseling. She's been on medication mm -hmm. because... Because of this, it's one, it's two girls that are doing this Well, there was room. three, mm -hmm. and one didn't, chose not to come. Okay. But she said she's Candace's friend now, but... So That's what's going great. on, Kat? What are they doing to you, these girls? They're backstage. They follow me home. They stick their dog on me. They make phone calls to my house harassing me. What, they do, they say, they, what do they say to you to harass you, like on the phone or whenever they, they see you? They tell me. They'll just, they won't say nothing or they'll go, if that whore wants to stop beating or, you know, they'll just say things like that. And they make noises. Yeah. They'll noises like when you walk pig. by. Yeah. 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 Have you tried to stop them? Have you... I did. I saw it. I, I tried to stay out of it. I tried to let her, you know, take care of it and see if she can handle it. And Do you think I they know how home. it feels? Do you think they know how you feel when that happens? No, they don't care. They don't care. Have they ever seen you cry? No, I don't cry in front of anyone. You don't? No. No. So you go back. You go home. You go home, and how do you take your frustrations out at home? I just beat on everything. <laughs> My little brothers. She goes to the room and she stays there. These girls are 13 and 14 years old. They don't. They don't care. You'll. You'll well, see. They wait They're outside. Back. I work at a deli. They wait outside. I don't get off till like 11 o'clock at night, 11:30 sometimes. They wait outside. Just so they can harass you. Just so her. they can say mm -hmm. things. All right, Jill and Tanya, 13 and 14. Come on out and join us. <laughs> You been watching the show backstage? Yeah. Huh? How do yeah. you think it's going so far? <laughs> Not so up. good, huh? You always Not have so something good. to say normally. I do. Well, then say yeah. it. I Let's think show that, how big and bad you I are. think that she has an attitude because she's fat. Mm. And I think that if she lost some weight, she wouldn't have such Look an attitude. Look at you. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Do so you think you're pretty? I'm not all that great, but no, no one's you're not. Me. But does she call you names? No. She you call has. her. Sometimes that's how people fight back. If you are calling her names, what have you called her, Jill? I've told her she was a fat I've called her Shamu. Mm -hmm. Told her she looks like her dog. I've said a lot. Yeah. And why, and why do you do that? I think that she, she, she has an attitude against everybody. I think that if she didn't have, if she wasn't overweight, then she wouldn't have an attitude. Do you Is think you, your business? Do you think you have an attitude? I know I have an attitude. Yeah. But you don't mind. Do you think she, what, what if you knew that she went home and cried? after you harassed her like that. How would you feel about that? I wouldn't feel that great, but... You know what, I could tell her a lot of things about your upbringing, but do I know? I don't say anything like that. I don't say anything about your family. I don't cut you down at all. You know what I tell her? Never mind, because that's where they come from. That's all they know. Yeah. My family's not all that good, but it's not that bad either. Oh, TV, I mean, oh you don't have a home. I have a home. Oh, the, you're never there. Maybe if you stay home and learn something. You do your you schoolwork sometimes. I do my schoolwork. You're 13 years know. old, right, Jill? Yeah. Tana, you're 14. Yeah. And who sort of uh, instigates the, uh, all the harassment, you think? Tanya? Well, is it? no. Tanya no. doesn't. Tanya's no, I'm asking Tanya. Tanya, you say that it is your sister and you follow along, well, right? sometimes it's Jill that starts stuff, but yeah. sometimes it's Candace, too. You know, I, we're not. Do you think it's okay to harass somebody because they're different from you? 
Well, I don't think we'd really harass her if... Have you ever called her a name? Yeah. <laughs> like what? Fat cow. And that's not harassment? Well, yeah, it is. What are you getting out of being mean to her? What, what does it do for you? <laughs> Nothing, really. It's then why just... are you doing it? Well, I don't... You're the older sister. Well, if she's doing something I don't, wrong... I don't always start stuff with her, you know. I don't really say stuff to her anymore. Last time me and Candace talked, we were getting along, so I thought everything was okay. You get along with, with Tanya? Somewhat, now and every now and then. So it's Jill that really it's Jill, is. Really. Yeah. Do you think that their mom is the problem? No. Well, she doesn't have any you did, control you did. over these girls whatsoever. Okay, you did talk to her and, and nothing happened. I did talk happened. to her and I thought it would stop, but it hasn't stopped. Okay. Well, the girls say that, uh, that Candace would be more popular if she lost weight. Anyone can lose weight if they try. And that you still do call her names, Jill. I am popular. There is nothing wrong. I have lots of friends. That's right. More friends than maybe. I can meet people wherever I, I go. Okay. They have no friends. I have a lot of friends. You don't even know. We'll uh, come back and meet Jill and Tanya's mother right after this. being joined by a Jill and Tanya's mother. This is Lauren. There you are, Lauren, right here. You know your girls harass this, this girl. You do. You are aware of it. Yes, I you am. You don't see it as a problem. Yes. I, no. Mm -hmm. I don't condone the name calling. And as an, as an adult, I would, I would suggest to them, you know, ignore them. But kids aren't like that. Kids can't ignore. Why don't you tell when, your children not to do it? I, I told her. Because she don't. never knows where they're at. I know where my kids Lauren, are at. Lauren, you do not. When I called you on the phone, Lauren, you said to me, I got to get in the car and go find them. No. You hit, Lauren, don't sit there and lie. Are your daughters harassing this girl? Yes. What are you going to do about it? I hope they can work it out themselves. Oh. Okay. Not, All right. Let, let, me say, know, let me say something. Do you know something. that Candace said they sick the dog on her? We what don't do, have a dog. dog. We don't even no, have a dog. It's when you're with Lindsay and you guys just bring it on. You make fun of my clothes. You make fun of my shoes. You make fun of the and Lauren, my hair. Candace, do you pick? Lauren, you know what? I could tell her all sorts of things and say evil things, but do I tell them? No. You know what? I let her fight it her own self until she comes home sobbing and things like that about your girls. Do you think that's okay? What would you do if Tanya came home to you like that? What would you do, Lauren? Let her answer that. Listen, Joni, 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 you don't Lauren, have Joni, any idea. listen. Uh, the only contact I ever had with you was when you Lauren, called. Lauren, you won't answer any questions you've been asked. That's right. You will not answer a question. What would you do if it was your daughters who were being called fat pigs? What would you do? Uh, yes, probably I would tell them to deal with it. I'm no, sorry. She would not. Right. Don't you think? Contact you live. Okay. And I never One see block. you. I never see you. What we are you live just right, right up the home. street. You don't keep an eye on him. You don't even it's have contact with It's not about that, Joan. That's not what the show's about. Know, the show's about she, harassment. Saying, keep and you're saying they're just being teens. She's 13 years old and you are not disciplining her I for discipline calling them. names. I discipline them. Do you, see it? Do you think maybe today might be a good day to start? I do discipline them. Okay. What happened to you when you called her a fat pig? I got yelled I didn't at. know about it. I did not know about it. Okay, now you know. Now you know. Okay, no, we'll, we'll, we'll talk, we'll have our psychologist, we have a doctor out here, we have a nutritionist, we're going to try to help the best way that we can. Do you think maybe some help might be needed in this situation? This is a girl that goes home and cries. Oh, yes. I do. Okay. Jill's let's let's introduce our next guest. This is Terry and her 14-year-old son, Brandon. Terry says Brandon is so overweight, she's concerned about his health, so the last thing she needs is a couple of preteen boys from the neighborhood making her son's life a living hell. Is your life, how, how, how do they harass you? Tell us what they do. They call me names like... Fat pig, fatty, jelly jiggler, stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. It's not funny. How do you feel when they do that? It makes me mad sometimes. Yeah. Other times it hurts my feelings. And I, I'd just rather be alone. And Why do you think they do it? I don't know. You think they get some sort of fun out of teasing you? Well, they laugh when they do it, so I, okay. yeah, I think so. Has it ever gotten physical? Um, not really, but they'll, like, hit me in the back and run, and I can't catch them and to do anything about it. Yeah. I, I like swear at them or stuff like that, try and get them to fight me, but they never will. Mm -hmm. do, do you do cry, but they never see you cry though, right? right? What do I, you do? I'm usually in my room when I cry. That's when I usually want to be alone. Yeah. 
They throw rocks at you sometimes? Yeah, I'll be riding down the street on my cousin's bike and uh, they'll throw rocks at me and stick sticks in my spokes or try and push me off and stuff. And you're 14 years old and these boys are 12 and 11. Right. Okay. They're backstage. They're, Ron is 12, Corey's 11. Come on out, guys. Let's make sure we have, I believe on the left, that's Ron there, right? Ron, you're 12 years old. Corey, you're 11, right? This is, you call this guy names? Yeah. yeah. You too, Ron? What have you ever called him? Fat boy, bloated boy, tugboat. Yeah. Do you think that's fun to hear names like that? No, not really. Why do you do it? Because he walks around like he's all proud of his weight. Have you ever had, like, anything physical with this guy? Once. What happened? We was hiding behind some bushes and we jumped him. That's a lie. Huh? That's a lie. That's a... That's a lie. They never jumped you? No. Maybe it was somebody they, else. They, they'll jump on my back and run. That's all they'll do. <laughs> but that's not... But I mean, there was really never anything, any biting or anything. But that's not funny. That's not funny to do that. How does it feel as his mother to know that this is going on with him? It hurts. It hurts. Um, I see him every day come home, you know, especially now that he goes to visit his father in Indianapolis. He, you know, he dreads going, but he wants to see his dad. He goes down there and he says, Mom, I know I'm going to get called names. They're going to pick on me. I can't do anything. Every time I walk down the street, you know, they're picking on me. They're yelling at me. You try to play sports and stuff? Or? I try. Yeah. I try. It's hard. You're, as it is, you're trying to deal with, you're dealing with all the emotional abuse, and then you got your own problem trying to keep your weight Right. And uh, we have a little surprise for you. We have somebody on the phone that wants to say hi. To make this world right now, which is in a very bad turmoil, you're our future. And to make this world a better place, if we all got along and we just didn't judge each other, it would be a better world. We're entering a new millennium. Let us enter with a new attitude. Do not make fun of anyone, tall, short, fat, someone born without a limb, someone is even too skinny. Don't make fun of anyone. We're all related, and kindness will get you so much more than a mean remark. Richard, thank you very, very much. Richard Simmons, we'll take a break. Be right back. Our next guest is Tanya and her 10-year-old son, Lamar. Lamar says he cries himself to sleep every night because he can no longer take the constant harassment from his 13-year-old neighbor, Crystal. And this is Crystal's mom. Elaine is joining us also. What kind of, what makes you cry yourself to sleep, Lamar? What kind of harassment? Well, see, see, I can't deal with it because um, she likes, she keeps calling me all kinds of names. and. What's the worst name she's ever called you? Not a professor. Oh. And you say that to him? Why, why do you call him that? Because he's fat and overweight. Yeah. Is that your problem? Yeah. Why if is it your be problem? Overweight, he could at least play sports with it. But why do you care? Why do you care what he does? He's not. He's just your neighbor. What do you care? Because I just don't like it. You don't like it. You're not. Well. And so, what do you? You, you think you're going to help him lose weight by harassing him like that? Yep. Right. So. Uh, you cry yourself. Do you know that he cries himself to sleep at night because of this? No. Well, how's, how does it feel to know that? Go ahead, Mom. I really don't think that she realized that it, it makes him cry. I really think that Krista only does this because she's concerned for Lamar for his health. Um, well, wait, wait, no, no, wait, because, you know, I'm not sitting here saying that I am a slim person, but I was overweight when I was a child and around Lamar's age, and I have two older brothers, and they... They teased me and they teased me until. It doesn't I help took you lose no weight though, yes, does it? Yes, it did. Yes, it, it helped did. you lose weight yes, to be it teased. It does not. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, so I'm not saying, you know, when Crystal. You know, you know, as a parent, you know, it's very important that we teach our kids how to carry themselves in True. public. Reverse psychology never helps anyone to do anything. What you need to tell your child is to close her mouth, yeah. and if she wants to help him, then give him the information he needs to help him to lose weight, not say, oh, you fat, oh, you did. I'm you know, not saying all I'm you parents up here, that what all she of you parents, see, I this, is, this is the 
way my mother taught me to deal with ignorance. My mother said, when you're dealing with someone who is ignorant, you show them the mirror image. Therefore, all you parents up here who got children harassing other children, let me just tell you something, young man, you something, young lady, and you something, young lady. It, it does not pay to be ignorant because they're being ignorant. But what you show them is, is that you can make it because they talked about me. But see, I'm graduating from college Saturday. I'm a teacher already. You know, I'm doing what I got to do to make it. And you know those people who were talking about me? They in jail. Some of them are dead. Some of them on the corner. Some of them drunk. But the important thing is, is that you are somebody. You can be something. Now, if that weight is causing a problem for you health-wise, then you need to lose it. But God made you the way that you are because that's the way that he wanted you to be. That's a good one. Man, that's good. We have a psychologist who focuses on teen issues here today and a dietitian with a plan to help all of our teens. We're going to try to change their lives today. We'll be right back. Karen Stark, licensed psychologist from New York, and you know the first question I got to ask you is about Robin. You've been watching the show. We're, we feel very frustrated. You know what, what can you Jenny? Say? I know that you're really concerned, and I think you have to forget about Robin. She doesn't want to listen to what anyone's saying to her. She doesn't want help, and she's really somebody that we're going to have to ignore in the show. It's a shame, but she's not going to. give up on people but can, can you just uh, do you agree with us that she needs more help than anybody else on the show today there's no doubt about it but people like that often won't go for help because they're so convinced that they know what they're talking about mm -hmm. and that they don't have a problem and she's angry mm -hmm. she wants to hold on to that anger yeah. Robin any, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have There's provided a lot of after show me. counseling for people and we will be we'll provide it for you if you want what well, because okay. I tell you my opinion I need counseling there's a way to tell people their opinion not that you're gonna listen to me and there are times to tell people this is none of your business what you need to do is raise your child properly and you're setting a terrible example you're a role model that's, that's negative your opinion thank you yes it is my opinion okay. <laughs> Everyone else is in the room. We can't all be wrong. But um, what, so what can you say? Want to listen, I know, Jim. I know. What can you say to the kids who are being harassed? Because <laughs> in some cases, there's nothing. It's not going to change. At least in this case, it's not. What do you say to this girl who's being harassed? Well, I think the most important thing for them to know is that there's something wrong with the other kids that are harassing them, too. I mean, I think that there's a problem when someone overeats, and you have to address that, but there's also a problem when someone harasses, and this is the way they're taking it out. Mm -hmm. They're taking their anger out on you. It's not right. It's wrong. You have to feel good about yourselves. You're all good people. Mm -hmm. You do look great, and that's not even what counts. What counts is that you sound wonderful, you're going to have a good life, you're going to take care of yourself, you're going to get good advice here. And that you don't play and the same game back because there's nothing to be gained. Th from there's nothing to be gained. I mean, you could tell mm -hmm. them to leave you alone, mm -hmm. but don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. You can make friends. There are other people out there for you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. And uh, speaking of other kinds of help, we also have Barbara McCarty. You're a registered dietitian. And uh, obviously the kids, as I said earlier, the kids are fighting the battle of being emotionally abused and then they're trying to deal with their weight. What advice, uh, what advice can you give the kids about, it's hard for kids because they love fast food, you know, and I know, raise your hand if you go to fast food like more than once or twice. See, there you go. There you go. What do you say to them? Okay. Well, there's really good news right now as far as helping you with weight problem, okay? What we have is the solution method. And the solution method really helps you to turn off the drive to overeat and inactivity. That's very good news. We didn't have that before. We have a book that, that we're going to be giving them too. Right. We're going to give you a book so you have a copy of it, and we're going to hook you up with a solution provider so that it can help you with it and, and help you to understand how you can make the different changes. This lady, by the way, has, is helping us find a registered dietitian in everyone's hometown and giving you a free consultation with a dietitian to help you get started. So that's really nice. I appreciate that. We'll take a break and be right back.
If you're a teen being harassed by another teen for being overweight, or if your daughter or son's being harassed by a teen for being overweight, call us at the show, 312-832-4180 is the number to call. Uh, this is the book, by the way, that we were just talking about. This is called The Solution. We've had this author, Laurel Mellon, on before. It's based on six principles. Very, very highly recommended book used by the president uh, in one of his programs. So we'll be giving uh, this book along with some other gifts to everybody. Uh, the fi a final word, Karen, about the harassers, if you will. What can you say to the harassers today or anyone watching, kids or who are harassing other kids? Well, Jenny, kids who are harassing, I think kids have a lot of trouble with anything that's different. And when they see kids that are overweight, it looks like something out of control. Nothing is more frightening to kids than out of control. But they have their own issues. They're harassing because something is wrong in their home life. Um, they have no other place to put it, and I don't even think they know that. And that's mm -hmm. what they have to look inside themselves and say, what are they angry at? Yeah, I appreciate that. That's the that. most important I thing. That. Uh, yes? Uh, all these harassers, you know, yeah. they just got to remember what goes around comes around. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. We have uh, some gifts for all of our guests, by the way, all of our guests dealing with their weight. Here are some gifts for everybody. They include gift certificates so you can buy clothes. There's your... your uh, you have a free visit with a dietitian. You got books, you got tapes. Some of them are about your weight. Some of them are just gifts from us. Thank you all very, very much. Thank you for watching, everyone. Jeroen Pauw voelt zijn gast stevig aan de tand in kwestie van kiezen. Zometeen op vijf.